So uh, I think I feel like we might be in danger of being a little bit overly positive. Um, what I want to shine a light on some of the the darker things about paralysis. So uh, my question to you, Mark, would be: uh, What do you reckon is the is one of the worst things about paralysis? Um, pain, neuropathic pain for me. Um, I don't get spasms. I just have like a, a mad searing, burning pain in my thigh, and it doesn't happen all the time. But like, like right now, I've just got like this dull sort of like cramp, sort of like someone like sort of like gripping the inside of my thigh. But then out of nowhere, I can just get this like branding hot pain in my thigh. And it sometimes it sort of, it, it comes on for like five or six seconds, then it goes off and then it comes back on again and it goes off and it, it might be like that for like 30, 40 seconds. Other times it comes on and it's on. And it's on for a good 30 seconds and that 30 seconds feels like 10 minutes mm. and it's it, it rocks you it, it it sort of sits you in your it you know you could be rolling around in your chair and all of a sudden you have to stop because it's like wow this hurts mm. and yeah. things affect it you know like i've got i've got i had a cold it was two weeks ago and it it sort of set it off even worse and it was like instead of it being maybe seven or eight times in the day it was seven or eight times every hour you know, it was just on constantly, and you know, and it, it, it sort of knocked me out and put me in. I, was, I just laid on bed because I just couldn't be. It was just so bad, and like having UTIs affects it, and sort of any sort of infection or any sort of illness in my body. My my thigh just goes right. I'm, I'm going to have you today, and it and it does. Mm. Yeah, that's probably one of the worst ones, and probably my other one is having accidents. You oh know? really? Yeah, like the doesn't happen often. Doesn't happen often at all. But sort of like, you, 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 you know, you, you sort of transfer and you pass wind and all of a sudden you can't trust it again anymore, you know, like you can't trust that far and <laughs> it happens and it does happen. It doesn't happen often, but it happens when you don't want it to. Mm. And luckily, it's only really happened to me while I've been at home. But, you know, it, it, it is always in the back of your mind that, you know, you you could fart and, you know, cause that, you know, that movement of transfer in between chair to, um, you know, this car or whatever does put a lot of stress on the body and it's, you know, yeah. you just get that little bit of a two and it, it can cause a problem every now and then, but yeah, that sort of thing. Yeah. So for me, I'm actually really lucky that I don't have any accidents like that, which is, which I'm very, very grateful for. Um, and I don't have nerve pain. Uh, it was odd when I was first in rehab, they put me on gabapentin and I was taking these meds and I didn't know why. Um, and I was like, what's this for? And they were like, for nerve pain. And I was like, well, oh, I don't know. And I just stopped taking it. And I remember I could feel um, like pins and needles in my feet. And I remember thinking, oh, is that is that it? Like, so I'm very, very lucky. I get pins and needles in my feet, but it's barely, barely noticeable. But for me, it's spasms. Spasms, I absolutely hate like but while we're having this conversation now my legs feel like they're gripping the chair and uh, you know they, they kick out a little bit and they're really uncomfortable but like you say um if you're ill like so for example if i'm constipated or if i'm ill or if you know anything like they get worse they, it's it's awful if i'm feeling bad uh, and i have to do a transfer i'm like wrestling with like an adult baby they're kicking out and it's such a ball ache i absolutely despise it but I don't get nerve pain and I don't have accidents, so I, I can't say it's that bad. But sometimes I see paraplegics with flaccid limbs and I'm like, oh, that looks like the absolute <laughs> the dream. dream. Yeah. 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 Forget walking, just like not having to wrestle with an adult-sized baby would, yeah. be, would be wonderful. Yeah, I think, I think it's a gift and a curse not having spasms. Because a lot of people can use their spasms to sort of like aid transfers and movement, can't they? Like some people, I don't know, everyone I know. Um, whereas I just have like these two floppy legs... No matter, you know, like getting into, getting from the floor to the chair, they, because I'm so tall, they just go, whoop, you know, and they just flop apart oh. and they just flail around and, yeah, but the pain, yeah, that's the worst one. Yeah. For me, the, the spasms hinder my transfers, uh, most, mostly. The, the, the one time I can use them, uh, uh, what, what would I say, practically, would be when I'm at the gym and I can get into the, 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 you know in the in the bars to do dips I can manipulate them so they go rigid straight and I can like prop myself up so I can readjust my hands so yeah. I can lift myself up to do dips 
Apart from that, when I'm doing pull-ups, they're rigid so I can like lift them up so I can, so they're not like dangling flaccidly. Apart from that, I oh and oh, the other the other thing is that they're because they pump so much, my my muscles haven't atrophied that much, so I don't have like I have got pretty skinny legs, but they're not like yeah atrophied skinny legs so they 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 get they keep me they keep muscle mass i guess they're, they're good because they prevent uh pressure sores because i've still got muscle mass i've got a lot of sensation in my legs um which is good and bad like because they do get really uncomfortable but mostly i would definitely say the worst thing for me is the is the involuntary violent spasms and just the rigidness the whole rigidness yeah. of of having spazzy legs it's it's such a ball ache yeah the one thing I, I think is a positive, though, like going back to the positivity side of it, is <laughs> flatulence. Like me and my wife, <laughs> like me and my wife haven't, uh, you know, passed wind around each other in, you know, in, since we met. It's just one one thing we just never do. And, you know, we can go in the bathroom or the ensuite and just sort of like let rip with the door open. But we're in the bathroom and that's fine. But now it's like, guess the fart, you know, I roll over in bed. <laughs> you know, and it's like I don't, I don't ever like have an accident with it, but it's just like, oh, I got into my chair, poop, and I, you know, I just burst out laughing. And it's like it's such a childish thing that I've just taken. You know, I just, I love it. You know, I really, really love it, and it's so funny just seeing her face. Like, oh my god, not this again. Yeah. You know, babe, know. babe, guess the fart. <laughs> she's just like, yeah. went, like she just laughs now, and it's like, yeah, we've become a normal couple. Yeah, that's so funny. I do exactly the same with my girlfriend. Uh, we we do guess the fart as well. So when I when I I can feel myself about to fart, yeah. and luckily for me, again, I don't have like fart paranoia because um, unless I'm having a like it's very very rare. Unless I'm having a bowel issue where I've got like diarrhea, I I can always trust my fart. Yeah. So I can feel it, and I'm like guess my fart, and all I have to do is like lift myself up, and I do and I do a little trump. Yeah. So uh, I'm like guess my fart, and she's like. And she's getting like really creative because there's so there's so many different ones. She's like, <laughs> and I'm like, yep. Yeah. <laughs> my, wife, my wife's just settled on the older uh, because that's pretty much how it comes out. No matter where I am, it just goes, you know. So I'm just a one trumpet man, but you know, I've, yeah. I love it. I think it's brilliant. I think it's hilarious, and yeah, it just it just brings it just makes you smile a little bit more. It just makes it a little bit easier to deal with, doesn't it? It's just like this whole yeah. I think. I think probably going back to the things that like what negatives is the effect it's had on my wife. Like she's been through the ringer with this injury, like, you know, having to mm. keep the house, raise their kids, organize coming to see me that the, you know, I can, I will never be sorry enough what she's had to deal with. Um, yeah. Yeah. My pain is just a, a mere s- scratch on what she's had to put up with. Um, so yeah, big shout out to my wife. She's, she's a, an incredible woman. Yeah, I bet she is. I bet it's it's interesting. I've had some incredible uh, partners. Like my partner at the time when I uh, had my accident, she was absolutely incredible. I remember thinking, you know, when you, well, for me, I, I had such a negative self image. I thought, how can this person love me when I don't even love myself? You know, she must be an idiot. I'm so, I'm like, I'm I'm a cripple. I'm, you know, how, how could she even love me? But that was really, and also going back to, uh, I, I want to say something funny. Before when I very first got, I've got like a lot of sensation back, so I can tell when I'm going to fart. I've got like a lot of ab control back uh, since my accident. But I, I, when I was first injured, I was completely numb, and I couldn't tell when I was going to fart. And sometimes she would fart, I would smell it, and I'd be like, "Oh, I'm so sorry." And she'd be like, "Yeah, that's a stink." <laughs> sometimes now, like the boys will be running around because like you can tell when like my, my boys are still in nappies, so you'd be like. Logan, have you have you have you pooed? And he'd be like, no. And then I'd go, Carter, have you pooed? And he'd go, no. And I'd go, boys, have I pooed? And they'd be like, <laughs> and they come and sniff my bum, and I'm like, oh my god! It, it reminds me of that Avengers thing, like you know, when he's like, I, I don't know, someone's weed in my suit, and I don't know where it was. Ant Man, I, mean, I don't, I don't know if it was me, me or old me or young me, like, but. But yeah, it's so funny. The yeah. ball, lot, it's just, you got to laugh, haven't you? I have to laugh with these yeah. injuries. You really do, man. You really do. Yeah, hilarious. Hilarious.